gay altarpiece describing two Adams and two Eves removed for possible offense to transsexuals. The gay altarpiece at this congregation, this Lutheran congregation in Sweden, our kind of Lutheran, had two gay Adams and two gay Eves and a transgender woman who was dressed as a serpent and actually held the serpent, but they took down the altarpiece because they were afraid it would be linking a transgender person with a temptress and that would be offensive to transgender individuals. I'm struck by the name of this, that this is called paradise. Isn't that very human of us? That we would find paradise even in the Garden of Eden, not in glory, not in joy of being God, but in each other in sex, in pleasure. Isn't that the original lie? God does something he's kept away from you. Let's know evil and that will give us pleasure. This is not a new story, it's two years old and yet time and time again, this comes up again. That paradise pleasure, paradise is pleasure for us in other humans. But I gotta ask you, in all the humans you know and all the pleasure you've sought, does it really satisfy? Does pleasure give you the joy you thought it was going to give you? Or you just feel like you're looking for more? I think we need something more for paradise, at least, than pleasure. Psalm 119, cough. Preserve my life according to your love, and I will obey the statutes of your mouth. We do look for paradise. We do need preservation. But it's not in what we create. It's not in what we design. All of that fails. All of that falls apart. It's not in what we feel at this moment because our feelings change. Lord, preserve my life according to your love. Your love, your love that made this world one Adam and one Eve. Your love that made this world and cared for us even when we sinned. Lord, preserve my life according to your love. And then thanks, I'm going to obey you. This is paradise, nothing we've created.